afternoon since 12:37. Saturday today is December 20th only five more days until Christmas or if you're celebrating Hanukkah then you are already celebrating Hanukkah and six days of Hanukkah yep and today I have some crazy hair going I like it's pretty I like it. um I have like naturally wavy hair but it doesn't always work out for me so it's just kind of like yeah doing that and then I have on this benefit gloss that I got at Marshall's like a, my other gloss and this one is only three dollars it was $3.99 and normally they're like 15 or 20 dollars so check out Marshall's now we're going for some lunch we're trying to decide where to go is the ever question so we'll see what are you going to get to eat? Basel. <laughs> Basel. Yeah, yeah. No Italian food. Where are we at? Oh, the Olive Garden. The Olive Garden. <laughs> I always get the soup and salad. It's usually delicious. How do you feel about lunch? It's great. What'd you have? I uh, had a uh, southern Italian uh, dish. <laughs> Was it good? Yeah. The Olive Garden? Yeah, would the you, Olive Garden. Would you recommend it? Uh, yeah, I would recommend it. Okay. Maybe. Pasta makes me happy. <laughs> so I'm just heading to Starbucks to edit and upload some videos. And we've just been really lazy all day. After lunch, we came home, we watched some TV, we took a nap. My husband has to go into work tonight, so I'm just going to work on some things at Starbucks and get a coffee and yeah I need to wrap his present it came yesterday and it was in a box that's marked with where it's from uh, so I had to like quickly put it in my car so I'm gonna try to wrap my presents and um, I have all the stocking stuff so I'm gonna put that together and I don't know what else to do tonight probably not a lot but I might just stay home tonight and watch a movie on Netflix I really want to watch some Christmas movies like Elf or I don't know just uh, some good old Christmas movies to get me into the spirit because it's not snowing here or anything so I just want to kind of drink something out of my Christmas mug and watch a Christmas movie you know just get in the festive spirit. So I didn't go to Starbucks to upload my video because their internet wasn't working very well which is fine I'm working at 8 a.m. tomorrow so I can just upload my video then so I'm just snuggling with Miss Luna here she said hello and I need to make some dinner. I'm getting hungry. I need to clean up the house a little bit. I'm probably gonna watch some Netflix. Probably gonna call it an early night because I have to work really early and I'm gonna get up. So I wanted to share with you another little recipe I have. It's for, I guess, not protein balls. They are like snack bars or a, some sort of granola bar you could make. This is something you could eat, I guess, any time of the day. But anyway, I'll get into it. So I took, this is for one serving, I'm making a few of these little balls as you can see here to take to work with me tomorrow. And you could make a whole bunch and put it in a pan and then cut it into bars, but I'm just making little balls here. Uh, so I took four dates, pitted dates. I took about a little under a tablespoon of flaxseed. Then I took and I chopped up, I took like one slice you can see off of my pear and then I cut it up into pieces. And then I put some coconut flakes all into my mini food chopper. If you have a food processor that, processor, that would work. And then I let it process until it kind of uh, became moldable. And I molded it into this ball. And I'm going to make several of them and put them on this plate and then put them in the refrigerator. So it just has those simple ingredients. These are raw, vegan. They are super good for snacks, for little breakfast treats. And yeah, I... I'm actually considering putting the rest of these dates in there and then getting a, I guess it'd be like a 9 by 13 or a smaller, like a pan that's ceramic and then you press them down into the pan, put it in the fridge, and then you can cut it into bars. If you find that it's not sticky enough, then you need to add more dates. Like if they're falling apart, you need to add more dates. So yeah. I make these type of things sometimes. Sometimes I just use the date and the coconut. That's really good. I've done it with sunflower seeds. Um, if you have a nut allergy, then dates and sunflower seeds works really well with the pear. You could use apples. You could use raisins. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different combinations, but this is really tasty. It's healthy and yeah. So I just thought I would share that with you. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but this is the jar, one of the jars that I hauled in my um, Dollar Tree haul, my last Dollar Tree haul, and I put flaxseed in it. It is working really well. So how cute is that? So here are what my finished little date bar or date ball treats look like. 
Uh, they're not all the same size, but that's okay. So I'm going to put these in this little container and put them in the fridge so they kind of uh, solidify even more overnight. And yeah, they should make a tasty treat. I found a good old holiday movie classic to watch. This is Scrooged with Bill Murray. I watched this as a kid and I probably didn't get all of the jokes, but yeah, so I'm going to watch this and that's it. It's like almost midnight, so I'm going to watch probably just a little bit of this and go to bed because I have to work early in the morning, but I hope you enjoyed my vlog today and I will see you in my next vlog. Good night. Good morning. Today is December 21st. It's Sunday. I have to go into work. It's super early. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say hi. I'm going to try to take some photos of like things I'm doing in my spare time at work so I can show you something for this vlog. I get off work at four, so then afterwards maybe me and my husband will do something. But yeah, also I wanted to show you, I got this shirt yesterday at Old Navy. It's just like black and white stripe. It's like a Henley if you you know what that means it's like a thermal kind of material but it is just really comfortable on Sundays we can wear comfortable clothes um, but it was only 350 so if you have an old Navy near you definitely check out their clearance section because that is an amazing price I also saw other like shirts for eight and for five dollars so yeah if you have old navy check it out it's super comfortable i also have my uh pacifica perfume on i can smell it just like it's waking me up I'm kind of rocking like two second day wavy hair um yeah we can do casual uh dress on sundays so it's nice since we have to be there early but yeah i just wanted to say hi and hopefully i will vlog more today so let's get this day going i got my coffee I made coffee myself this morning and um, I actually mixed my like healthy hot chocolate mix kind of um, with coffee so I mixed like protein powder soy milk a little bit of cacao and the coffee it's tasting yummy so good morning deck the halls with boughs of holly fa la 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 tease the season to be jolly fa la 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 done we now our gay apparel fa la 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 troll the ancient yuletide carol fa la 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 good morning guys happy monday it's december 22nd oh my goodness and I'm up super early getting ready to drive about an hour and a half away for work. So I woke up a little bit late. That's why I'm a little bit late because I got all this baby hairs. But that's okay. I didn't wake up super late. I like woke up with less time to straighten my hair than I wanted to. So not a big deal. But I'm just caffeinating myself here. And then today I also brought a green juice um, in a Lara bar. So I have some snacks and yeah, so let's get this day started and I'm going to try to take you guys to the beach because where I'm interpreting is kind of close to the beach. So we'll see. It's super cold, but we can see what it looks like, right? So hope you're having a good morning so far. It's a little bit windy and a little bit rainy, but here's the ocean. Yep, <laughs> in my work pants on the beach. The beach is actually closed, but just wanted to show you there. Still sounds beautiful. <sighs> That's one of the great things about where I live. It's just so beautiful. Again, so I just got back from Pio as you can tell because my face is all red. 
so I'm a little hot. Uh, it was a great class tonight. I really feel like I'm getting stronger, so definitely motivates me to go back because I feel like it's helping, uh, and it, every class gets easier, so yay! And I just, before I went to Payo, I went to Starbucks and I uploaded my December 18 and 19 vlogs, so that is up. And I'm gonna go now to my husband's work because he said I could use their internet. I don't want to like stay all night using Starbucks internet, but ours, our internet works fine to like browse and to watch YouTube videos. But when I want to upload YouTube videos, it like I don't know. It's like mm -mm, you can watch, but you can't upload. So I'm gonna go use internet at his work and upload my DIY, and then I'm gonna try to upload my December 19th. Wait. No, my December 20th vlog. Um, yeah, and maybe I will eat some dinner there as well. But yeah, I just gave Luna her dinner, so I'm gonna go do that. And I have a ton of cleaning to do around here. I was busy at work today, and then I came home and I took a nap, <laughs> um, honestly. And so yeah, I have a few things to get done. But yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Mm. Seafood fajitas. That's right. Rice. Beans salad. I just got out of the shower and I think I'm going to use one of my new Bath & Body Works aromatherapy lotions. I got these yesterday when they were on sale for $5 and then I had a coupon making them $3 each. So these are two scents I've never tried before. I had my regular go-to the eucalyptus and spearmint lotion. And then I like the other uh, lavender chamomile, the sleep one. And I was going to get those two, but I decided to step outside my comfort zone and try these two. Um, I'm not sure. This one smells really good. I think it's kind of awkward that they chose to, to name this one sensual. Because if I have this out and people come over, I don't know, that's kind of awkward. But, <laughs> oh well. And uh, the stress relief one, these both smell really good. I think I'm going to try the stress relief one tonight, the eucalyptus tea. I think that is perfect so if you guys got any of these on the deal let me know which ones and what you think of them because i haven't tried all of them i haven't tried the other sensual one or the lavender vanilla or the the energy one so let me know if those are good all right guys i think i'm going to end my vlog i'm just getting ready to give myself a pedicure because every time i go to payo i always look at my feet and i'm like i need to give myself a pedicure so I'm gonna do a red, and then on my like big toes, I'm going to try to do some of this gold glitter. I think it'd be festive for Christmas. And then I'm using this uh, Nature's Gate O oh, One a Night. It's a walnut therapy overnight treatment on my face. And yeah, I just use the eucalyptus tea uh, aromatherapy lotion, and it smells amazing. So that is a thumbs up. I also have some skin detox tea in the microwave right now. So I'm gonna drink that and then head to bed. Hope you all have a good night. See you in my next vlog. Bye. Good morning. It's December, Tuesday, December 23rd, and I'm starting off my day with a smoothie here. I'm using this Tropical Goodness smoothie with chia. This has coconut, guava, pear, apple, a little bit of dragon fruit and pineapple, and I mixed it in my blender bottle with a scoop of protein powder, and then, of course, I've got some coffee. I just made public my last minute holiday gift DIY and now I'm working on another DIY that will be up hopefully later today if I can get it edited and everything. So yeah, this is how my morning is going so far and I'm just going to get cleaned up and do some more work. Good morning. How you doing this morning? You going to try to climb up there? No. Come back. I think she sees, you can see this little ball right here. That's a Christmas present for Luna, and I think she smells it. I'm getting ready to make lunch, and I'm making something I've been craving for a really long time. It's cheeseless mac and cheese, or vegan mac and cheese, and so I thought I would show you what I use. So the essence of this, of the cheeseless cheese sauce, is cashews. These are raw cashews, so I have one and one half cup of raw cashews. Then I have one cup of a mixture of soy and water, soy milk and water. If you have almond milk, that's great. Just that little bit of milk gives it a creamy texture. So I did four ounces of the plain soy milk and four ounces of water. But again, I would use almond milk if I had it. Then I have nutritional yeast. This is what's going to give a real cheesy flavor. 
You can use one fourth cup. I like to use one half cup because I like it to taste really cheesy. Then I have a little bit of cayenne. I just do a tiny pinch of cayenne for a little spice. You can leave that out. Then I have ground mustard and chili powder and you do one teaspoon each of those. Then I have lemon juice. I have three tablespoons of lemon juice you're gonna put in there. And then you're also going to add in a pinch of salt. So you just blend all of this up in a blender. And then I have on the stove my water boiling for the pasta. I'm using a brown rice quinoa pasta. So you could use whatever pasta you want. I just find that this is a really tasty one. So I'm going to blend this all up and then I'll show you what the sauce looks like. Okay, I just blended it all up and this is what it looks like. It's a really thick and creamy sauce and it's tangy, it's really good. So I'm just boiling my pasta now. And once I'm done boiling it, I'm gonna put it into a pan, mix it all together and it'll be ready to serve, just that easy. So here is my finished product and I went ahead and sauteed some broccoli and carrots in a little bit of garlic, uh, really lightly just to add in there for some color and added flavor, but this is a really tasty dish. And even though it's vegan, you could go ahead and sprinkle cheese on top and enjoy it that way. That's how my husband likes it. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna eat some of it, not all of this, <laughs> but I'm gonna eat some of this for lunch and then I'm gonna go ahead and film a video. So that's what I'm doing. Hey guys, so I'm running so late for work. I don't know what happened. Time got away from me. So yeah, I didn't do a lot today. I made that lunch. I filmed a couple videos, so that's what I was doing. And so that is really it. I have to work tonight and tomorrow, but tomorrow's Christmas Eve. So hopefully I will film something festive or I don't know, something nice. But I hope you all are having a good day and I'll see you in my next vlog, guys. Bye.